All right, just doing a quick garden update. It's Mr. Siggy. All right, buddy, come here. You having a happy day? So I got some more flowers in the ground. Pretty little flowers, flowers, whatever. And I put this little bit of fencing, but you can see I still gotta finish the brick and the rest of the fence to get the full yellow brick road effect, but also it's mostly to keep the dog out because he runs through there. I got some house plants I just brought out and they're, they're doing pretty good. As you can see, I was correct. Mr. Uh, plant there is coming back to life. Yes, you're a funny man, Dad. Why aren't you playing with me? Um, still got those ones to plant. Um, so, the main focus, uh, we can we can show off uh, these little, uh, these guys are doing so nicely. Look at that, man. Look at that. And again, the bricks are not going to stay that way. It's just to help prevent the dog from running. Because he ran today and he chomped on one of my bulb plants there. It's leaning sideways. But you can see those little pansy faces are coming out. And, uh... This black guy I still think is fantastic. So anyway, so that's that little piece. Um, yeah, and there's that nice, that's another petunia there. In the middle there is some impatience and uh, begonia. Back here we got dirt, followed by more dirt. There's going to be a uh, produce patch, not produce, uh, a patch of for, for composting over there. But I'm probably going to do some sunflowers and stuff back here. Yeah, and here we are. It's been a fantastic weekend. We, we haven't had a nice weekend. We haven't had no good weekend weather for about four billion years. This place uh, I live. So, I just, just exciting. Uh, I still gotta do a lot with the marigolds. They're too close together. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move them. Um, you can see at the end there, they're spaced a bit more appropriately. And yes, I have my mask, because isn't that funny. But look at all this stuff. So first of all, I got some eggplants in the ground. Uh, six of them. Tomatoes are still flourishing. I am starting to wonder. Here's these, these, uh, I thought this was organic uh, green pepper, but look how different that plant looks. I don't know if that's a pepper plant. So I don't know what I planted. Broccoli's doing good. I just did some transplanting, though. You can see there's a hole there. I had a broccoli there. It's obviously too close. But if you look, um... This broccoli was the one I pointed out before. It was doing so good. It's, it's definitely taken off. It's the best. Um, I planted my onions wrong. I planted them all together. I realize now I probably should have pulled them apart. So I'm replanting those. Um, that's where I transplanted the broccoli. So now you can see I got broccoli, broccoli. Now these ones are too much in the shade. I didn't realize how much shade those uh, apple trees provide. So I'm, gonna, I'm also going to transplant those two broccolis further out. But for now we got one, two, one, and there's a space in the middle. I might even move that one. Um, and then that is a future Brussels sprout. And that's a broccoli. So we got broccoli, broccoli, broccoli. See how, see how if, if, pretend the Brussels sprout's not there. See how it makes this nice trio shape where it's like they all have space. And then over here, over here I'll probably leave that one. Oh, neighbors are doing some shit. Um, I'm definitely going to move that one. I'm gonna move these two, and even this one. What it, what it is is I'll just take those three and swoop them out over here, and then that middle space, I mean, there's tons of stuff that can go there. Um, here, I still, the, the pepper plants look great, but I have started, well, let's finish this row. So, uh, over here we got, this used to be cabbage. I moved him because he obviously didn't fit. So there's a nice cabbage there. I'm just gonna have to weed aggressively around him, and I think he'll be good there. He or she, whatever. Here's another cabbage. Also, could be a tiny bit further out. We'll we'll think about that. But these are very nicely spaced. It gives the pepper plants tons of space. And here's and now this. So some of the cabbage, though, this is these all came from the same six pack. But here's a green one. There's a purple one. So I guess I'm gonna have a couple different kinds of cabbage. So that one's good. That one's good. Should move that one over a bit. I mean, maybe these two are okay. Cause so because I like the spacing of these two and this third one and then yeah I like I like the whole row I measured so this yeah this one's okay this is a uh, yeah that's also cabbage and then over here's where the Brussels that's Brussels sprout Brussels sprout and those really are so good here's the rest of the eggplants one two three 
Um, that one's kind of close. Shoot, that's that's okay. Uh, and then four, five, six. Here's the rest of the Brussels. Brussels are great. Uh, they taste so good when they're fresh from the garden. You just saute them with a little butter and some uh, spices. A uh, couple pro tips. Herbs can be anywhere. So here's a herb. Uh, by that I mean it's <laughs> curly parsley. So curly parsley fits in all the different kinds of parsley. They fit in the middle of rows. You can see this row here of pepper plants. It's like a, a row of a row of well, I can't see how it. So those I put a basil right there. There's probably room here for some um, some 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 <laughs> parsley. But this is a little bit tighter over here versus over here. There was a lot more space. You can see. Um, tomato, tomato, tomato. I got too many tomatoes. Like, I have I have plenty planted right now, and I still have, like, well, how about all those? I mean, I have, like, 12 plants left. So I just, no, I think I have, like, I got way too many tomatoes. I was, I was being ridiculous. <sighs> um, other cool things. The, this little guy was, I thought, I'm like, oh, no, it's a vine. I shouldn't plant it in my garden. He was connected to this. See, these are two different from seed plants. They are both coming from the same central area. That's where I think, yeah, unless I, yeah, so those are, I think are gonna be two different, no, I think those are two different flowers. Yes, that's what that's what it is. Um, so it's nice that they just like sort of fit in there. Those are, those are flowers I grew from seed. Back in March, I did a indoor, plant, um, like a, a thing with seeds and I lost track of which ones were which, so I don't know what they are. Um, but look, see, this looks really nice. See, there's a pepper plant, looks great. Supposedly pepper plant, but that also might be an imposter. By the way, where those plants are sitting, so that's gonna be my path. So I'm gonna have a path that goes through. Um, it kind of zigzags to get out. So that's, that's the plan. Um, but this fits so nice. There's another curly parsley, and there's a purple basil. And so I could already have some of this basil if I was, and I might, for um, putting it on my pasta. This basil plant, so those big thick leaves, you can just pop them right off and just gotta rinse them aggressively and then uh, they're delicious. Basil, you have to be very, all these herbs, so you gotta really trim these back. When they flower, um, you gotta trim them back and I would look up how to do that because uh, you don't want to, if you let them flower, they, they're gone for the season. If you trim them back, they turn into a huge bush. So that's kind of how that section goes. The other part that is kind of cool uh, is I planted a row of bush beans. Um, you know, you can buy, you know, gr green beans, I mean. They're, they're green beans, but they come in either a bush or a pole variety. And um, you might be wondering about that odd plant. That, I think, is Swiss chard. And so what it is, you can see, I got three rows pretty close together there. This is that row of whatever it is, I don't know, it's some, I think it's microgreens, followed by lettuce. And then the second row is carrots, and you can see them, they're just coming up. Uh, where are the carrots? Oh, crap, I lost them. Um, there's carrots growing there. The, the carrot tops are coming up. And then, so I got row, 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 and this third row is all lettuce. You can see tons of that. See, see all those little, uh, all those little beepity boops. Those are uh, lettuce. There's all the lettuce growing in a beautiful little line. When you got seedlings like that, you gotta really water them. Not too much, not too little, but make sure you water them pretty much all the time if it's hot. But yeah, I planted a Swiss chard there because so I left some space so that this will be my kneeling area to weed. So I can basically reach with my arms all the way to the edge. So I'll kneel here to weed this whole stuff. But then I figure every few every few spaces, maybe I just put a plant. Like this is one that I grew from indoors. And that is a uh, green bean plant as well, but that one I grew from indoors. And I think it's not a bush bean. I think that that is a pole bean. So so the point of that, so that I put that there. Here's where all the, the, the this was the hardest work of the weekend, which was the um, this row, which is just dirt right now. But this, this is the fourth row, and so you can see, oops, let's get some focus. Yeah, so you got three rows in a, in a row, and then you have this nice kneeling space, and then I'm going to have three rows again. And the first one I chose to do is the bush beans. Uh, to get, I love green beans when you, you can just 
you know, you can always steam them and then freeze them. You can pickle them. Um, I haven't really done any of that because I tend to just eat them. Because you can just take them off. And as long as you take them off on time, it just they just keep making beans. I mean, just you have this endless source of this rich, fibrous, vitamin-rich material uh, to eat. And I love it. I, I, you know, I have a natural tendency towards vegetarian diets, um, even though I eat meat. Um, I want to change that, but anyway. So, so yeah, to wrap up, I mean, I, I planted like a little plant in the middle, but kind of le still leaving space to, to weed um, for me to kneel here. And then I might do a few more oddballs like that, like one over there, kind of like how over here I have some random flowers mixed in. So, yeah, that's a garden, and I hope you're doing, oops, hope you're all doing well. And we can say goodbye to Nico. Mr. Coco. What are you doing? Yes, Dad, I love when you make noises. And then the dog. Alright, goodbye.